Hi everyone and welcome to another video. This is going to be my first actual weekly plan with me. You've probably already seen my September plan with me, but I'm super excited to set up my first weekly with you guys. Um, it is a little bit of a weird beginning to September, so I have the three extra days ahead of the first full week. So I'm going to be doing those, plus my um, first week of September with you guys. And I have a few extra little things that I'm changing up from my August uh, one page weekly. I am trying one page weeklies all this month just so I can save on pages and plus I think it actually will probably work for me better than the two page ones. So this is the one I used in the end of August and I actually really like it. Um, this is what the dailies will most likely look like behind if I do it the same way. I haven't really decided how I'm gonna do everything yet for September, but you know, we'll get there whenever we get there. I really like how this turned out. This was heavily inspired by Sunshine and Stationery. Um, on Instagram, Caitlin is amazing. All of her spreads are amazing. Just go check her out. She is rocking YouTube right now. Just go hug her, subscribe to her, follow her everywhere. Like just not in real life, like on the internets. But yeah, her stuff is amazing. I've always wanted to try her one page weekly and I love it. So I'm going to try it again for this month and I'm super excited to go with this color scheme. These are all the pens I think I'm going to be using. I didn't use as many pens as I thought I would whenever I was planning my monthly pages for September. So hopefully for my dailies I won't need that many. Uh, this is a little bit more of a complicated kind of theme because whenever I was doing my August theme all I had was you know my three Tombow colors plus the Stibulos that matched that was all I had but now I have two kinds of Stibulos Tombows and Pentel sign brush pens so it's kind of hard <laughs> to figure out what works for what plus since it's astronomy theme this month I'm also using my white gel pen so just a lot of extra little pens that I'm not used to yet so I might be a little awkward in this video just a warning so I figured I would do this kind of half real time half time lapse just to get it a little bit different and just sort of you know have some sort of something that's not a time lapse <laughs> or silent music video um, for you guys so these three days are usually pretty simple. I'm going to do them the same way I did my last couple days in August. I really like how these turned out. So I'm hoping I can get these to look how I want them to look over here. So the colors I'll use I think are going to be these three colors. Just feels right. So <laughs> we're going to go with it and just see what happens. Uh, I'm not the best with Tombows yet, so I apologize. I'm actually better with the sign pens that I just got than I am the Tombows, so we will see how this goes. We are just off to an amazing start, aren't we? <laughs> that did not turn out how I wanted. Oh well. Practice, practice, practice. Alrighty, and that is how I do those kind of dailies. Headers turned out pretty good. My hand lettering still isn't the best with Tombows, but I think adding that little bit of a drop shadow with my Micron actually kind of helped it out a little bit. Um, and obviously I'll fill this out later, but I really like just how it fits the page. So now we'll actually move on to my actual weekly. Um, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because <laughs> I don't know what supplies to use yet. Um, I'm sure I'll be adding stuff all over the place, you know, but 
I'm usually all over the place with my weeklies anyway, just with what I work on, so doing a real time of this probably isn't going to work as smoothly <laughs> as I think. Um, but let me just get like the base stuff done and then I'll come back to you. Alrighty, this color scheme isn't going exactly how I planned, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. So pretty much, I was going for purple, but I didn't realize how different the two purples were. So we're just gonna go with it, I guess. <laughs> just see how it goes. Because I have three different purples here. Turns out the Stabilo and the Pentel Sign Pen match more than this one. I mean... Obviously one's warmer than the others, but I swear when I first tried this one out it wasn't as bright and it's actually turning up brighter on camera than it is in real life. So maybe I'm just going crazy. I'm not really sure. So pretty much after I get the headers in and stuff, I you know, fill them all out and I actually have a new thing right here I'm trying out from the Boosted Journal or Bujo Boosted if you remember him. Um as that Ricardo um, he has this checkup system where he checks quality, and I'm, I do the checker life check every month, have been since it came out, you know? Um, but I wanted something more on, like, a weekly level. I mean, it's all weekly, but something that shows up every week that I look at every single day, rather than at the end of every week, if that makes sense. So, that's why I added this here, I'll be filling that out as well, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, that's my weekly page set up, and now I can move back to the dailies. I think I want to do it more along the lines of this for my weeklies, or for my dailies, rather than like this, just because I like that I can sort of customize this a little bit more. Um, I don't really have that planned out, like in pencil anyway. Uh, so for my checkup part, I like that it's daily, that I can do it daily, so I'm paying attention to it. Some of these are actually on my checker life check, but I'd like to be able to get sort of an average for those rather than, you know, just at the week, at, at the end of the week, try and remember how I felt. Um, especially this top one. This top one is going to be sort of like my mental health, and I'd really like to see like an average of that because I feel like I'm scoring myself higher either higher or lower than I really am, so I would like to just sort of see an average for that. Um, I also have money management, so I'm trying to learn how to budget, I'm trying really hard to save more than spend, um, which I've been doing really well on, but I'd like to just sort of, again, get a daily uh, look at it. Sleep is definitely another one that I would like to keep track of. Whenever I was doing my time management experiment that I got from Llama Letters, um, it was really cool to see like how much sleep I got and how it changed every day, so I can't wait to try that out. And at last, my diet. I haven't been eating the best lately, and I feel like that's probably going in to at least two of these three things. <laughs> so I figured I would track that, and if it's not, you know, as helpful as I think it is, I can always switch these around, because I have other things that I would like to probably try this out with, so this is just going to be an experimental month with this. Alrighty, I think I am actually going to letter my dailies with my Tombows just because I feel like I already have a handle on the Pentel sign pens. 
that I feel like I should probably work on my Tombows more. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my dailies. Alrighty, that is my weekly for the week. I'm not going to fill it all out just because I'm not for sure everything that's going to be happening yet. Um, this purple is actually really kind of <laughs> fluorescent and kind of dark, so I might actually go in with my white jelly pen at some point and go over the letters on here just to lighten them up a little bit because it's kind of like messing with my eyes because they're so close to each other. That I kind of can't read it very well but um, you know we'll see when I'm in better light this isn't the best light to be in <laughs> to be honest and even on the camera it doesn't look like they're as dark as it actually is um, oh and before I forget I didn't highlight the week and my weekly is done so I think overall this probably took me about half an hour and that was including talking in you know to you guys in between so really this weekly doesn't take a long time to make and I like it because even if I add you know one or two co collection pages in between you know I'll still be able to do my one page weekly because it's so flexible like whenever I had the two page in August where'd it go whenever I had the two page in August um, it was hard to kind of manage because if I had two, you know, one collection page, I had to make another one just to get it to fit, you know, the two page thing. I think I did that actually. Yeah, right here. Like I had to make two spreads in order to make it fit the two. I think that's why I use so many pages in August because the two page rule but at least with the one page rule I can make as many collections in between here as I want and I'm still going to be able to get the next week to work. So yeah that was my weekly plan with me. Hopefully it was good. <laughs> I've never done a weekly plan with me before because I've ever since up until this last month of August I have never done it the bullet journal way where you go week by week instead of doing a whole month at once. I've never done that before but I actually really like it because I feel like I can spend more time on the spread and I'm sure I'll you know decorate this with my constellation stuff somewhere I just haven't decided where um, and I can tell you right now that I'm not overly happy with the color I chose here but you know it'll work it'll hold all the information I need I can always change it next week so it just goes to show that the bullet journal system is awesome because you can change it week by week even if you don't like it. Like I think I'm pretty sure I'm never going to use this color <laughs> again this month just because it's kind of hard to handle. So that is all for this week. I'll see you next week. Bye!